The captain's tired of risking his life so King's Landing lords and ladies can get drunk on better wine than they deserve. He's going to stay in Dawn, wait out the winter where it's beautiful and warm. I met some because when I got on a ship in Volantis, it looked like that one. That's not how the game works. You're not supposed to just blurt out the right answer. You've got to invent a story about where the ship is going and why. Lord Baelish. She's very eager to see you. And your sister. Are you alive? How do I know? Because I'm a terrible liar. You said so yourself. Please, Lord Baelish, tell me what to do. Tell me when. I still don't believe it. He didn't. He didn't want anything. He just takes an interest because he loved my mother. Little thing is not in love with me. He's too old. They never see it that way. No. Why? What will you do? Tyrell, my lady. Um, send him in. Soloris. My sister Marjorie. Probably don't remember the first time we met. At the hands torn, you gave me your favor. A, a rose, a red rose. Of course I did. He was very gallant. Gallant, yes, and charming and very king. And he was brave and... How can he possibly have any claim to that ugly iron chair? Shall we have some lemon cakes? Lemon cake's my favorite. So we've been... His father was an oaf as well. And instead of a horse, this Joffrey. I... I... This boy mistreated you? Joff King... Joffrey, he, his grace is as brave as a lion. Yes. Yeah, My father always told the truth. And took his head. Joffrey, he promised he would be merciful and he cut my father's head off. And he said that was mercy. And he took me up on the walls and made me look at it. I, I, I can't, I never meant... He's a monster. Hey, please, if you wouldn't mind waiting back in. I can't tell you. Why not? Your skin starts to look like. But that's awful. Capital. And she'll have to come watch and pretend to be happy that you're queen. <laughs> <laughs> Brent. That would make me very happy. You'd love it there, I know you would. We have a great mask. I don't think the Queen would let me leave King's Landing. Oh. She may not be the grandest ship in the world. Of course, more than anything. But maybe it would be better to wait. Not just for me, but for you. You've been so kind, I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. True friend. I do, Lord Baelish. Well, I suppose a brooch is a sort of pin, so... I'm very happy about... Uh, yes. <laughs> the most beautiful bride in the world. No, I'd never left Winterfell before I came to King's Landing. But it sounds wonderful. Oh. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Do you think people will like it? I don't think they will even notice it. You're right. It's not my wedding. Anyway, from what I can tell, the dressmakers in Highgarden will be far superior to the ones in King's Landing. Lord Tyrion to see you. Should I? I beg your pardon, my lady. Good afternoon, Lord Tyrion. I was just trying on a gown for King Joffrey's wedding. Lady Sansa? Of course. It's all right, really. They cling to the realm. Or the gods. Or love. 
climb is all there is. I'm stupid. For a little girl with stupid dreams who never learns. Circumstances. How do I make the best of my circumstances? I have to marry him. My son. With him. I'll have to. We'll have to. He's rather good looking, even with the scar. Especially with the scar. He's a dwarf. Some women like tall men. Some like short men. Some like hairy men, some like bald men. Gentlemen, rough men, ugly experience. And that's a good thing. It can be. Did your mother teach you? Lady Sansa. You look very handsome, my lord. I hope I will not disappoint you, my lord. No prisoner after today. You'll be my wife. I just wanted to say, I, I'm just... I doubt that very much, my lord. I won't ever hurt you. When I have to. When? What are you doing? As the father of the realm, it is my duty to give you away to your husband. Thank you. Fresh, one heart, one soul. Congratulations, my lady. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. It's a dream come true for you, isn't it? What a glorious day. Yes, Your Grace. I suppose. How'd you like that? That's what held you down. Astoundingly long. What? But your father... If my father... What if I never want you to? How should we punish them? Who? Whom? And you stuff sheep down inside. Then you sew up the hole and make his bed again. His room will stink, but he won't know where it's coming from. My sister used to do that when she was angry with me. And she was always angry with me. Why sheep shift? That's the vulgar word for dumb. My lady. Well, you asked me. 